Hello, 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 and this is CJ here, back with another video, and today I'm going to be doing the Cave Dwellers Origin. I'm not, I have been doing some practice of Sans and Deep Dark. I tried to do Deep Dark and it didn't work. The Sans 2.0 version kind of works. The gas one doesn't work and everything else works. Okay, I didn't check everything, so. We'll start with the world data packs and then just do this. I assume it's just cave dwellers. Yeah, I know it's survival. Oh, I'm just gonna call it a new world. I see. And we put there. But I'm not someone who's very not like great at like this, like the whole I I'm okay at modding, but I'm not really a whole Minecraft fan. Like I like Minecraft but I'm not very good at it. So if you want to you can give me some tips down in the comments. Like, I know, like, the basics. I'm, I'm not a complete noob, but I don't actually be in the game by myself. I've always had someone else with me. Red, redstone golem. This would be cool, but... I'm being a redstone golem. I am pretty tanky, but you pretty much. Sorry, but I'm running into some other stuff in the background. Okay, I think it's now back there. Yeah. At least I have haste. At least I have that. And night vision. And also my fists are stronger. But but I just do that. So it's craft your crafting table. I'm constantly crafting because I'm four blocks tall. Which is good, but I do need to find redstone immediately. Not to make a not to make a like as a temporary food source, as a redstone block to charge. Because I'm slowly running out of battery. And my hunger bars to battery. Yeah. So uh, the reason why I didn't try and do a sand origin, or I tried to do it once, but. The reason why I haven't been really uploading now is because I'm still trying to practice on how to actually do it successfully. So I've been doing it and then failing because a bone bounces back at me and I lose all my gear and I don't know where I went. That's pretty much how 90% of the failed runs go. And I doubt really you want to be able to, want to be seeing that. A bone bounces back, kills me, and smashes boom, I'm dead. I almost made that mistake of mining with a thin pickaxe of a stone. I 
to buy this. Besides from armor, shields are useless to us. Because according to the origin, my arms are shaped in such a way where I can't hold a shield. Which makes sense, I'm kind of like a mining robot. Not a combat robot. Yeah, why such stuff is spinning on the uh, not be able to do anything because everything's in the way. Pickaxe because I am tired of walking around this big smell. At this point, I'm kind of like an enderman. You put down a three. I kind of go. Well, if you put down a three by one or a two by or three, even if you put down a four by one door, I still can't get through. And also, against the warden, this character would be okay. Like. I'm pretty sure if you stayed dead still we would act like normal, but I gotta be very careful because I can't heal really because I can't eat food, normal food. And that's also a reason why I'm trying to limit my my uh, access to um, running. I'm not even running, I ran a single bit in this because it burns through uh, food in a way undescribable. Got some nice lapis, which is pretty much useless to me since I have not much interest in enchanting. Like, yeah, I might, but eh. it's not really worth it. Like, yeah, you can get some powerful stuff, but also you can waste all your time at XP. Oh, 
pretty sure I heard a cave ambient sound over there. But like we're not in a cave already. Um, I'll probably just do this in an episode series so if you are interested I'll probably make a playlist unless I probably I will make a playlist most likely just after I do this right I bet uh, Minecraft's are the worst places for Enderman, like they just want to chill but they can't because of how annoying it would be for Enderman to go around here. Which is kind of good for us players, but for me it's like a nightmare. And I found zero redstone. Which is a good and a bad thing. That's where my primary bell is in. Uh, let me just press O. It does damage. I might also have that for using. Oh, let me look at my controls. See that? Not as efficient if you use two. I know it's more efficient if you only use one, but uh, we have enough time. But the question is, do we have enough coal? Eh, yeah, probably. Probably just gonna get like maybe a pickaxe and then that's it. Get a pickaxe, uh, an axe, and then mine up after I get a redstone block. Because if I don't get a redstone block, it's gonna be absolute. It's gonna be an absolute nightmare trying to navigate. Because I'm gonna move around fast. Because an enemy's gonna be there. Go through all my hunger. Be at like two HP and some skeleton. I know it's gonna bonk me and I'm dead. Um, 
this point. Okay, that was what's this. At least we've got tons of iron. Oh. Well, what was that stuff on then? Okay, then I'm going to hit no more is there. I'm just wasting this pickaxe because it's cheaper. If you have any ideas of where um, in 1.17 uh, cold is, just say in the comments below because I have no idea where cold could be. I'm not Carl, I mean Redstone. I have no idea where this could be, like, I've looked everywhere and, oh, redstone. Some say as a madman for trying to find it. So it was rare, like, it's like, I swear that was like 20 minutes worth of, like, village just waiting for redstone. And it's enough.
Okay, now I have a food source as well as a charging station. Okay, I'm mining all that. I am now fueled, so that is good. And there is one thing which now I can do, I can run around in here. I don't like killing them for villagers, but I need to. Is this a sealed up cave or I don't really want to mine straight up. But if I have to, I will. That's the one thing I don't like about human race is it takes a bit for it to, you know, say, hey, you can eat some more to heal now. There's a little bit of cooldown, it's annoying. But I get that kind of makes it less, like, so you can spam them and become invincible. Okay, I'm just gonna line up. I know this isn't the best of gameplay, but I think I should get up and like talk to like villagers and stuff and get resources and from that. Um, if you have any idea of how to like, or any like strategies to be, have a better like strategy of how to be good in this game though, because aside from the redstone need, it's actually a pretty powerful origin. It will actually take pretty much, like, in here. So, you press break things at heavier speed, and you don't take full damage. And you don't swim. And you don't need to breathe underwater. You can breathe just swim underwater. The only thing you can't really do is ocean monument riding. Since you're too big. Oh 
help the Thomas. Uh, what do So she's pretty good. Uh... Where can I go? My new face. Actually, we have enough to go to this one here, and then this. Maybe let's make an axe. Well, I think that's enough for you. Well, this isn't the best for you, but we'll do it. The only thing we get is kind of a floating effect while we move it down. That's the only thing that's different about water than land. There's a jungle over there, so... I'm sure I'm just gonna mine this. And let's uh, make a little bit of a base. Hmm. 
Wanted to just put it there. Okay. Okay, uh, let's get rid of the sand. Oh. I assume this also is affected by, like, gives you accurate affinity, so if you, like, leave deep, it doesn't affect you. Although, is that just when you have, like, your whole body underwater? I assume because of our size, it makes it easier to grab sands. It's for glass, if you're wondering. So um, I'm going to quickly build this and, well actually, um, I'm going to start smelting and then next video I'll build it, okay? So, let me just set these all to spawn. I'll see you all later. And this is CG, CG, CJB, and I'll see you all later. Bye.